Greetings and salutations. I decided to make another video about city skylines. This time we're going to start a new city and I'm going to do a tutorial series, playthrough, run through, let's play, screencasting um, on my computer. Yeah, why not? Alright, so let's start a new map and you can watch me build a city from nothing all the way up. I'm going to try to get to the first milestone, at least, at least, if not better, in this video. We'll see how I go, um, if the, how much time I have. Alright, so anyhow, I've decided I'll just go for this first map. I haven't built this one yet, which looks interesting. Saw someone else using it. Um, it's got lots of little islands. It's only got a 16% buildable area. But I guess I can flatten out some of those, make more islands or make them bigger or flatten the mountains or whatever. Uh, a chain of islands enveloped by water, this map comprises atolls, lagoons and peninsulas. A highway running across the map connects some of the larger islands while also providing a connection to the outside world. The buildable area is split over several pieces of land which offer a range of options for traffic over land, water and air. Alright, this is a European map, it's, looks like it's a warmer map, that's good, I hate the ones that snow too much, Northern Hemisphere, alright, and there's all these connections, we've got everything there, yeah, so that's good. I start game, I'm going to leave it on European, I like left-handed tra traffic because I'm Australian, um, might turn natural disasters on first. No, I'll leave it off. Now I'll just leave it on de default. Um, and I think I'll call the video YouTube Tun. YouTube Tun. <laughs> Alright, let's begin, shall we? <sighs> yeah, so I did just make a video review of this game if you want to see my thoughts on the game in general. I'll try not to rant in this video. I'm going to keep it on topic try to. Although I have somebody home so they might come and ask me a question or something. I might have to stop the video early or mute it or something. Anyway, this is the beginning tile. Let's hope that doesn't happen. It might not. I didn't tell them I was recording. <laughs> uh, anyway, this is the uh, starting tiles. Let's have a look. You can't um, click on the you can't click on the other thing for the tiles. Um, this is milestones. It's a small village. And I've done nothing. Got 500,000 in the bank. Alright. This looks like a really cool little map. Um, that does look a bit funny. Uh, you know what I mean? It's a bit of a funny intersection. Maybe it's a bit phallic. Do those kind of look like balls? Anyway. I didn't realise this was the map that had that. <laughs> uh, yeah. Alright, so we've got to build something. What are we going to build? A road. We could use this. We can do it like this. It's way too close. Um, oh well, why not? I want to keep them as big as possible, but there's the edge of the map there, sort of like that. Alright, now we need to give them the, uh, you know, water and power. Um, if there's already power here, yes there is, there it is, alright. We only need one of these transformer stations. If I put it there, I'm still going to have to build a power line across, which I'll have to do eventually anyway. But I guess I will do that. So I'm just going to put it there. Alright, so then we go to power lines, that button. By default, it's on the above ground one, but I'm going to press page down just once, you can go down different levels um, to make it underground because otherwise it's going to be in the way of everything like roads and future development. Alright, so we can just click connect it to there and that's done, deselect it, click go to electric cables and the other ones, make sure that's underground, yep, because you can also do above ground little power poles that are cute. Oops, okay. So I'll select the road, go across. 
Let's see this. Why is it complaining? Apparently I need to go around those little roads for some reason. So I need this. That doesn't look like it's connecting, does it? <laughs> right, page down. Um, okay, it just didn't give me the type I wanted at all, did it? Page up. Power lines, I didn't want those. Because I had definitely pressed page down, so that's just quite annoying. Wasting my time. I wonder it wouldn't go where I wanted it. Alright, power line. Page down. Me and that selected properly. Didn't connect to it. Did that connect? Yeah, it did. All right, and that should work. Um, water. So we've got to get them some water. These are the water pumping stations. All right, we've got all this water here. We're also going to have to set up sewage. Um, and the water thing requires a road, so I think logically putting it near this road is the best choice. Stick it there. Alright, and where are we going to put the pumping? Uh, I should connect it up. You only need to use a water pipe, not a double pipe. Click from there, we'll go to the road. Of course, underground power lines can get in your way. Alright, now we need sewage outlet. And we'll stick this over here. It's not a good place for it, right? But right now, sort of limitations of playing the game without cheating mode. Like, it's not unlocked all. If I had unlock all done, I would um, do the wastewater treatment plant, but we're playing the game vanilla. Alright, there is something you can do here, but it might ruin the budget. Um, chemical, like you can do this purification thing so it doesn't pollute the water as much. Um, this will cost four grand a month. This one costs ten grand a month, so there's two different levels to it as well. I'm just going to do level one because I really don't want to see all this brown too much. And I also don't, don't want to go broke, so compromise. Alright. Connect that up like this. I, I just realized with the water pump, I could have just used a road. And now it's going to complain about not having a road. See, so I just wasted time. Dumbass. Road. Just use a small little road like this, a lane. Like that. And then, you know, so how are you going to connect it? So that's how I would do a road. Oops. I think I'll just switch back to this one. No, that's a medium road there. Go across like that. All right. But we will develop that more. Not enough electricity. We haven't built power plant yet. All right, so to start off with, I'm also only going to be doing this as a renewable city. I only ever to build renewable. Don't do dirty stuff. What the hell is wrong with you? We're not living in the 1950s. I don't build no new coal plants. Um, it's not a good idea. You know, you'll get everyone protesting against you if you try to do that now. <laughs> All right. So where's the windiest spot? Um, five megawatts. I, I didn't really need this because we've got the power coming in and we can just import all of our power. But I'm just going to show you anyway. This will mean that it's, a, it's actually a revenue stream. So we'll go under, underground, use the small line, sorry. Right. And I just realized I put it in this cheap place. And I have to run the power from there to there. So. Wrong one, select that one. <laughs> All right. We went underwater, it doesn't matter. That'll be connected now. You can do upgrades on this building, but I'm not going to because it will ruin the profitability. Once we need to later, you can have the batteries. 
can put salt, a little solar panel on it and um, that's just like upgrades it so it makes more kilowatts and if you do all those you get the kilowatts up I think to 7.5 or something or 15 I don't know whatever we'll see I don't need to do that um, so if we click on power now you can see that I am exporting power already we have no citizens and we're making money when it comes to water we're, uh, we're not probably connected to the edge of the map so we haven't got any water trade yet and we're on an island as well there was no outside water connection to the island okay all right that's all we have to do now is zone like we're playing sim city and like that uh we might want to have one block be commercial and we just want to build our population get some suburban people in and I do not build my industries on the same island or in the same area. They're complaining about water for some reason, and that's weird because I thought I had a double connection to the water. Is the water pump not working? It seems to be working. Oh, here. They're not connected. I only reconnected the power between the freeway. I've got to do the sewage and water pipe at the same time so double pipes and they would just do that stupid thing again ground i think i just deleted the wrong thing too why is there that extra power thing okay power Is that connected or not? No, yes. Doesn't look like it is, but it is. Okay, now that should work. And stop complaining. So we'll speed the game up. There you go, they did stop complaining. So this is how they uh, animate buildings. So do you think that uh, these are all just low density residential, so i.e., houses in suburbs? When have you ever seen a crane come in to build a house in a suburb? Ever in your entire life, have you? I haven't. I don't know if the microphone would be low. I had it further away than the last video, so now I've decided to move it closer. Sorry about some background noise. Okay. You might hear more noises now. Just had to rearrange some stuff on the table. Okay, sorry about that. So my chair's a bit squeaky too. So we'll just watch this happen. So yes, I'm still running on the same computer uh, spec as the last series video. I don't have a GPU currently, I'm just running the APU AMD Ryzen 5600G. Yes, that's my system currently, with uh, 32 gigs of overclocked RAM. It's only DDR4 because only a Ryzen 5000. Still, I will be upgrading to a Ryzen 7000 probably for Christmas or after Christmas, I've decided. But I'm getting the new graphics card first, and that will mean that I mean, I'm not CPU bound with what I need to do here at all, anyway. Um, so, another thing that I'm sort of will show you is that I've turned on developer mode. I forgot to show you that in the last video. So if I click on the uh, tab button, it gets this, and I can go here and I can turn the simulation speed up. That's the only thing I want to do. I'm not going to use it to cheat, all right? So that's the only thing I like about it, and I like here the, the stats. You can see that my, C my CPU is, um, doesn't actually show the percentage there. <laughs> um, that one milliseconds is like some sort of response time thing. <laughs> anyway. It shows my frame rate was as low as 6 and up to 15 in game. Yes, so they take a while. It's a bit of a slow game. It doesn't feel as fast in the simulation. I don't, uh, there is another way to cheat to make the buildings pop up and spawn faster. 
or something and upgrade faster. But that's a cheat, so we're not going to do that. We're not cheating in this game. I only turn the speed up a little bit, probably doesn't make any difference. You'll thank me because of less waiting, you know? So as you can see, we're already three quarters away to pass this milestone. Well, quite frankly, yes. It is an additional expense, but the residents have come to expect mm. a level of services. And we simply so we can, we can um, try to click on, just pause it, and then click on this mini van. Who are they? What are they doing? This is the fun part of playing the game. What I like to do. After I've built something and I need to take a break, perfect opportunity. Click on a sim or a vehicle, most usually a vehicle, because it's more entertaining. Just click on it, follow it, and see where it goes. What's it doing? Alright. Now what's this guy doing? Maybe we should add him to our follow list there. Boom. And you can use that there to follow him too. Uh, I showed him in the last video what my graphic settings on. All effects are off. I've only got textures, I mean, yeah, on high. For the, oh, is that what you call it? Anyway. Anti-aliasing is on, and everything else is on off or low settings until I get a better graphics card. I'm only getting 12, 13 frames per second. You can see that in the top right hand corner. This guy's just going home, it's pretty boring. Uh, yeah, I, I did for the first few days I had the game, I had all the settings on the default. One of the problems with this game is that they have really terrible default settings of just putting everything on max or maybe that's just because my it detected i have a fast computer with the ryzen 5000 right um because i should be able to play this game on max settings my cpus and ram are, are good for that and i've also got an nvme ssd or oh, it's not really an ssd yes it is you know uh th so it's a fast one and the game's running off that too So, yeah, and then bottom next my GPU. How is this going? So, like, do we want to maybe zone some more to get this um, to happen faster? Here we go. Whoops, oh, there's a bug. I forgot to mention in my review video. This annoys me all the time. I did not want those to go. Why did it do that, see? And, yeah, it's, when I click on something, I don't want you to unzone it without me actually clicking it. And that's what it did though. So I've got to go back here and put them back. But what if you don't know what they are? Sometimes it can be really hard to figure it out. The first game didn't do this at the new bug. Like, and I haven't seen anyone else complain about it. So it's just a bug I'm having. Reason. All right, well, I can't put industry around here. As I said, I won't do it. But um, I can't put houses there yet because I haven't. Built more roads in that direction. Well, we should do that. We'll just do it this way. So everything you do will start to expand the city. I like to do big grids. I'm a grid kind of guy. I just forgot I've got that on the wrong setting there. Okay, that's better. Because I'm not going to use the grid tool. Well. Again, I usually just use it once to start a starter grid, and then we expand the grids from there manually. Unless I don't like, I might do it again when I'm building the industry zone. I'm usually more lazy with, um, you know, the way things look in the industry zone. So things can look like shit and I don't really care as much. Whereas residential zones got to look nice. Uh, I try to get the blocks around the same size, but it doesn't need to be perfect. Some of them need to be bigger because you, all the assets you need to uh, plop down, you know, um, social services and things. <clears throat> oh, you know, like the police and the schools are quite large assets. I think we're about to get to the next milestone. Maybe if I build another road. Oh, there you go. Tiny village. Woohoo! So we've just got 600,000 credits. Okay, and um, we can now look at the city budgets and the tile maps. So I'll show you these things. The city sim statistics. We've unlocked medium density row housing, which is, looks like low density housing still because it doesn't go tall. 
it's terrace, it's what we would call terrace houses where I live in Australia. Um, and roads, it's unlocked a few here. So that's good for lean divided road. In medium, it's unlocked the rest of the medium ones. We've got to do some healthcare and garbage management now, right? And I have to start my industry zone because the garbage man tip will have to go into uh, the industrial zone, obviously. So I'm going to keep playing for now because I haven't been interrupted yet. Okay, so we're going to click on purchase map tiles. I also need to look at the wind direction. Does it show you that while I'm doing this? No. Uh oh. Um. No, that's the one I want. Anyway, air pollution. I'll show you wind direction. So that's the thing. See, my first instinct might have been to put it there, but that would blow pollution onto this island. So we could use this one as an. Oh, that's the whole thing. Yeah. We all oh, just. There's a main island. Mm, is that a main island or whatever? Yeah connects to the edge of the map that's all right but not that we can use that land until mods happen which i hope we will be able to uh so we could do it right here this will i usually like to keep it as far away i know it means extra transport i could do it here as well um, but down here there's an extra thing what is that you know like railway or something yeah, it must be railways, which we need for industrial zones too. But I'm not ready to actually build uh, that. So all I really need to do is a tip. And I guess that could go temporarily over here. And, mm, I'll just have to build a thing over the freeway to connect it. Um, <clears throat> it looks like we could do some tree logging stuff, forestries. All right, I'll purchase these. Actually, I wanted that one. It doesn't make sense, does it? I can't have four. Why, why does it go low D? Did you see it do that for a second? No reason. It does cost money to uh, purchase these tiles, I mean, 35 grand. All right. I'm going to slow that back down um, because they need a tip now. Bad. So, <clears throat> don't know I had to do that for. What? I was in the wrong thing. Yeah. I hope I have enough space here. Uh, what is all that? Looks flat, but it looks like. Alright, here we go. Oh, there's one of those power lines in the way, so that's going to be annoying as hell. Maybe I should just put it underground. Um, Bulldoze, above ground, pause, game, wait, am I paused? Okay, power lines, although this is going to eek into my uh, profit on the electricity. Some more infrastructure to pay for instead of using the base game infrastructure. I don't even know if that was. Um, yeah, it is flowing power. Okay, so at least they're out of the way. What was that? Ah, oh, it's like a little stone hinge. Oh, I don't want to ruin that either but you can pick them up and move them now relocate so I could now go put this here on the middle of the testicles and the other one stone monument oh by the way I disable the mouse thing that makes it go to the edge and instead I use the keyboard because it's annoying to play the game the other way by default. So that's the setting I change in options. You might want to think about doing that too, it makes it easier because when you like just throw the mouse out of the way, it doesn't like go in the wrong place on the screen and when you're trying to follow things it doesn't click off them or is that the old one? I don't know. 
Anyway, let's build a, a freeway overpass thing. Make it a medium one because future proof. Even though they won't need it yet. So we'll go page up. Just do like this. Alright. And then we'll click there and we'll go page down and a duck we can't. So that's great because I chose a bad place to do it. Too close to the map, but I, I wanted it to be. I guess that looks better. Uh, uh. Okay, try again. This time I'll go like this. Don't complain too much. Oh, whoops, wrong button. Damn. <laughs> this time. Okay, that's not going to work so easy. Okay, up here. Alright, lock that in. Page down. So anyway, you can build this. Stupid slope's been too steep. It's so annoying. <laughs> Why does it have to say that's red when I do that? Is it because it's a big road? What if I make it a small road? Is it because of snapping? If I take snapping off sometimes you can get things done when it doesn't want to otherwise. God, this is annoying, isn't it? So here's the frustration of building in this game. Technically I don't need it if I just make it go in one direction. Mm -hmm. That's what we want that to do. Keep it straight. Alright. Now we don't have the freeways lot unlocked yet. Although I haven't spent my point. Can I get that? No, it's over here, I think. Advanced road services. We'll unlock that. Why not? I don't know. And um, we still only have that. What I'll do here is go like this. No, that's not going to work straight away. But I think this needs to be a bit longer. Page up. It's got to be the same level. You're going to let me build any more in that direction? Or I just, I just chose a really bad place to do it. <laughs> I can't do what I was thinking. Try again. Ah, oh, there you go. I've got it to work. Page down. It's going to work there, is it? Okay. It's normal rates. It's going to be in the direction. Yep. <laughs> now, what I would normally do if I've got a bit of space is do a bit of a curve like that. I keep it as long as possible so you get a nice like, freeway entrance. That's kind of how we do it. Down under. Um, I see that a lot. It's like a standard thing, like this is pretty much the intersections near my house. <laughs> In real life. <clears throat> Alright, so that's done. Now, a landfill. Big day, disgusting thing. Now we're going to do that. We stick this here because it's the only place I've got it right now. And I'm just trying to save time. Of course, we could make it like stretch to the edges and be a really stupid shape, but as I was saying in the last video, that, that's not realism at all. Blocks are normally squares, triangles, rec I mean, just like rectangles. <laughs> anyway, so that's the. We can upgrade this with recycling. It's going to cost an extra 30000 a month. I probably don't want to go broke right now. I'm not complaining about it, so. <laughs> Until we get rich, we won't. Uh, so with this game, you don't get rich really until you've got about 20,000 population. Right now, apparently, I've only got 95, so it seems like nothing. Uh, but they probably want something else, yes. So we've got that medical clinic, and we'll give them to them on the main road here. Like right there, Looks, sounds like a good place to me. Oh, yep, we've got a cemetery too. That's this ginormous thing. It would be on the main street, right? Like, if you can't, if they can't heal you there, then you just die here, you know? Okay. That's it. So, for that level, 
Right, we just need to make a road. Two. Yeah. I don't think I see. We won't want to um, put a road that's going from there to there, but we will do something like this and let's get snapping back on. I'm just going to guess and I'm going to make it that long. Okay. I also like to go a bit across because that way you don't have to worry about that later. And I'll do that here now. So I can line that up there. Engage. What are you complaining about? What? Huh? Dead end? I've never seen this before. It's just weird, isn't it? I've never seen it say this. Is there something different about my roads that I have? Ah! Oh, Runway road, okay. That's why. I've got to fix it. Ooh. So click on this upgrade tool and you can change the road from one type to another. Whoops, I, I screwed all these ones up here. Yeah. And I don't want one way roads. That was just because I was doing a freeway thing. Okay. <laughs> don't forget to switch things back after you use them. That's a little tip for that. Mistake I made. Okay, sorry about that. I'm going to get breakfast soon. I'll have to finish the video up soon. There we go, perfect. And you can see how you can connect roads up like that now. You couldn't do that before. So that's one of the improvements. It's just building out the grid. Grid me, baby. Grid me up. I'm in a matrix. I live in Melbourne, and Melbourne's a big matrix. As well, the city. We designed our city. So another cool thing you can do now is you can make them little roundabouts at the end, but it's silly. See, that's dumb. Cul-de-sac. Not really. They don't do that in real life, do they? So if you want to get rid of that, demolish the middle of the road. Bing bong. Sorry about that. Just demoting. All right, speed this up. Hurry up. What do they want now? Ah, oh, so we can finally give them the row housing. Um, we'll do that here, here, and here. So you can see that how the bars move for the demand bars. We'll give them some more. That's more than they needed. I wanted. We'll go back and we'll change that to low density. We'll keep going with our suburbs. That's probably all they need for now. But what we've got to do is industrial. And a job to go to besides working in a shop. Uh, that's not the one I want. Okay. <laughs> I did want to do some farming. Can you do then that's not unlocked yet though. So I don't know ruin that space. I'm going to try to do... Oh, no, I forgot about giving this power. <laughs> and water. And you know what? I have to build a whole new system because they're not interconnected yet and I don't have enough my tiles. I can't unlock the tiles in the train. So now I have to waste some money on doing another water system. But I will be able to interconnect them later and have it all exporting ex or making money. Um, there you go. Where am I going to pump out the sewage? That's, is there on the other side? No. Oh no. I had to do both in the same place. That's terrible. I'm going to have to move this over because I saw the arrows. Not in my favour. Uh, actually, no, that stays there. Alright, the other one go. Whoops, water. Poo. Village. Poo pipe. <sighs> How annoying. Water pipe. Nope, you don't need to do that, remember? Build a road! Ah, let's remember this. Tip. <laughs> yeah, beep. Bong. Bing bong. Alright. I need a road there. Will this fit? But I didn't leave enough space. You can fix this, but. Hmm. 
Right there for now, and click this. Oh no, it's locked. Stupid bastards, I needed that. Okay, isn't there a way to do this? I'd have to delete and rebuild it. What do I want to do? Oh, that's right, a bit industrial. Just do it here, dude. Can you go like this? That will be in the way. Can work. It's 90 degrees, there you go. Overlapping. So stupid. It always complains. I can still snap in line like that and then just go like that. And it doesn't line up perfectly. It doesn't line up at that rate at all. Did I snap that too then? <laughs> uh, it lines up with something. Oh, it looks stupid. But it'll take too long to demolish, so who cares? <laughs> you can't undo, so there's no just undo button. That would be a good feature for the developers to add for this. So hopefully that doesn't happen next time. Um, I'll try to record next time when I'm home alone or tell the other person not to interrupt me. But it was the morning breakfast time, so shit happens. Stick right there. And connect. Okay. So I'll just make this the quick industry zone. Don't know why I paused it. Um, and you can just like go like this. You can just hold your mouse down and then drag it over all the places you want it to go. Don't put it on the freeway ramps because they've got to get turned into freeway one-way roads that won't allow that. Oh, we need power here too, so we've got to put another windmill. Connect it. Actually, I can stick it there and it connects automatically to the road. See? So we don't need a thing in the bob here. Actually, we can use it though because we've got this power. So we'll do a, a transformer station right here. And that got me to the next milestone. Here we go, we're at a small village, 7,000 credits. And I now I'm going to need to build an elementary school and a high school. And I've got medium density standard. And we can look at taxation. And if you want to make money, you should try to save up for a solar power plant early in the game. And to get that, you've got to buy the emergency battery station just to get there. But I don't have enough points for it. Um, so I'll just save that point for that later. And I would buy... Um, both areas need to be expanded and I've only got four. So do those three. And one here to make life easier. For that area, there you go. Bob's your uncle. I do need to connect these up so that we're unrestricted with things there. Alright, there you go. I wish I'd built that straight up, but it doesn't really matter. It will still have its own little matrix that's still straight. Mm. And then you can just wait for things to build for a while. Watch, watch stuff happen. We could. I would always be interested in watching the tip um, and what happens here. Where are the trucks? See what's going on here. I find problems with this. This is my issue. It won't work and sometimes if it's too far away unless you go to services and you turn the budget up to 150% or at least 125% because they're too far away and they're being lazy. And, oh, it's too far away and you're not paying me enough money, basically. Um, we didn't need to connect this. There you go. So now they've got plenty of power, both off grid and on grid. Don't know why I did another one, but oh well. Uh, let's have a look at the power. Am I making money from it? I'm exporting 5.9 kilowatts. And you can't see that in services. I'm still losing money overall, but you always lose money until you get to 20,000 pop. I can put taxes up now, because I'm a lefty. I would only do that on businesses, and then I would always lower the, interest, the tax on the residential, 
eventually around big cities making so much money you can put the residential rate down to zero or below zero on this version even. Below zero is means you're giving them an incentive to live there, giving them extra money and cash to <laughs> you paying them. Please live in my town. Okay. Well, I guess I better finish this video, this 40 minutes. And we've done two milestones. I have unlocked this stuff here. Oh yes, and I get a road maintenance building. So we'll do this. I like to have all my industry services over with the industry. Uh, uh, city services like this over with my industry um, but I kind of need more road where am I going to put it? I'll just put it there for now or I can put it over the top of other people doesn't fit right properly there where I wanted it to there's always something in the way That was weird. Um, it doesn't seem right. <laughs> hmm. No, not there. Power lines in the way. Going back to road maintenance building. Put this somewhere, put it there. Sorry, dudes, you can just build something else there next door. Fix that up because we had to rezone that after buying the rest of the map. Tile, next to the map tile. Alright, sweet! What do you think? See? I know how to play. I've got lots of hours. Well, I actually have been playing SimCity since SimCity. <laughs> Honestly, um, when I was a kid, I played SimCity, the very, very first SimCity, and then SimCity 2000 was one of my favourite games. I was addicted to it for years, and I played the other ones, 3000, and then they went 3D, and I played Tropico, uh, which was good, like this with the 3D engine. Um, yeah, so city builders are my thing. I also liked um, StarCraft 2, because you got to do space city building, played Warcraft, that kind of thing, so, but I don't like Warcraft. Um, yeah, so that's my cup of tea. I do like city builders and uh, simulating stuff on there. Let's do a uh, wrong button. I meant to press this one. Let's do a little fly around of the city. Can I do this without the mouse being on? No, I can't. <laughs> How would I do it without the mouse? Oops. Okay. <laughs> Flying around in the uh, freeway over the bridges, look at the industry zone, the tip. How cool is this? Huh? I'm like, it's like I'm flying around with a drone. Oh, there is some cinematic thing. Maybe I need to use that. You can, I think you can record um, a cinematic route or something. I don't know. I, don't, I haven't figured it out. It's one thing that I don't know everything about yet. Uh, so we'll figure that out next, for the next one. See if I can do this better next time. <laughs> Alright, well, thanks for watching this video from Timber Blog Show. Please subscribe for more. And I'll keep making these uh, for this city, which is called YouTube Tomb. <laughs> Alright, see ya.